Hey everyone, Nate here with Soda City Boards again. Today I'm going to do another tutorial about tumblers. I'm going to be doing this for the Xtool D1 10 watt non pro version. Um, these tumblers I'm going to be doing today are red and black and will be ones from Maker Flow Crafts. I believe they're 30 ounce. Um, another popular one that I do are the 20 ounce Domacare ones from Amazon, which come in a variety of colors and everything as well. Those ones are probably my best sellers, and I will include links to these in the uh, description below. So, to get started, I already have the tumblers, red and black. I have the logo and stuff created, which I will show you how I do all that. And then I have the X-Tool RA2 Pro Rotary Tool that I will be using. So, starting off with these tumblers, this is the logo that I was given by the customer to do on these tumblers and also some hats. So, from here, I used adobe photoshop and i converted it over to this which is the file that i used to engrave so from here i saved this out as a png and then i uploaded it into our software which is lightburn and then after doing that i went to tools and i did trace image and i came up with this right here which this is what it looks like whenever it is engraved so it looks perfect to me so my next steps were to go into our laser tools rotary setup and i am using the roller so i checked roller enable rotary and then for the rotary when it's on a roller you're going to do 32 millimeters per rotation 17 millimeter roller diameter and then the object's diameter, I just put 100. These ones aren't actually required for when using the roller. It's more for when you are using the chuck. So from there, my settings I use on every single brand of tumbler that's powder coated and have been successful on every single one has been 2,000 millimeters per minute. 85% power, one pass, and a 0 0.080 line interval. After this, I will get the tumbler set up on the rotary, and then we can get it going and click start and have a finished tumbler. So now the next step is to set up the rotary and get the tumbler on and level. So as you can see, I have burn grids around the edge and I line my rotary tool up right on that to get it perfectly straight. And then from there, I will put a tumbler on here and I can see where it lays flat so that it's perfectly straight. And from there, I will add the other rotary tool under it to get it level. So we can remove that. And we will get this to be level for the engraving here. There we are, so now we got it all level. I will double check the, yep, that's perfect on it. Now we can turn our laser on, try to get it all centered up. This part I just eyeball, and then I'll run a frame on it to see how it looks. There we go, that looks good. So now our next step is going to be running it through the software. All right, now my next step after the cup is done engraving, I use LA's Totally Awesome, and I'll spray it right over where the engraving was done. And then I take a baby wipe and I will wipe it clean. Now 
now once I do this, you can see that the engraving looks good. But now I will take them inside, wash them with some Dawn dish soap, and package them up to ship.